We are underneath Arlington Memorial Bridge. We're in the steel truss section of Arlington Memorial Bridge. Most people don't realize that this is actually a drawbridge, and we're in the bastual section, or another term for drawbridge. This bridge connects Arlington, Virginia with Washington, D.C. This bridge connects the Lincoln Memorial to Arlington National Cemetery and to Robert E. Lee Memorial Arlington House. When this bridge was designed, the designers of this bridge were tasked with making a bridge that was in keeping of a memorial while making it a functional drawbridge. So the way they did that is that they hid all the mechanics in the bridge underneath the bridge. So here we are, about three stories above my head is the road deck where most people commute back and forth to work or drive between the memorials to take in the sites of Washington, D.C. But we're here, we're in the active part of the bridge. When this bridge was completed in 1932, it was the longest, fastest, heaviest drawbridge in the world. This three million pound roadway would open in under a minute. And in order to do that, you had a 125 ton counterweight that would offset the weight of the roadway. You had specially trained crews to operate Arlington Memorial Bridge. You would have one crew member here at the control panel watching for river traffic. You would have another crew member at the road surface level who operated the bollards that would rise from the roadway surface. Bells and whistles would go off to notify people on the roadway surface that this bridge was about to open. You had another crew member who worked at the electrical room to make sure that the voltage that was needed throughout the rest of the bridge was being controlled and monitored so that all the systems could be fed. So here we are underneath this bridge that most people never get to see the actual functioning working portions of Arlington Memorial Bridge.